I was taken by surprise. I told my dad, you know, this is the number of guests you are entitled to. I told my mom, this is the number of guests you are entitled to. I had quite a number of people say, you know, you didn't invite me, blah, blah, blah. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Naku Alute, a Ghanaian YouTuber. And I got married in a beautiful Ghanaian traditional wedding two years ago. And in today's video, I'll be sharing with you some things I wished I knew before planning my wedding. So stick and stay till the end of this video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you're not yet subscribed. So one thing I wished I knew before planning my wedding was that um, your big day or your wedding day is actually not just your big day. It's the big day for your parents and your partner's parents as well. I'm saying this in relation to um, guest list, the number of guests you are expecting and all of that. So this was what happened to me. Um, my partner and I knew, you know, the number of guests we wanted at our traditional wedding. However, we also had to consider the fact that our parents also had, you know, um, their own sort of guest list. Aside, obviously, like general family members that we all knew were supposed to be there. And... For me and my partner, both of us come from like, you know, really um, large families. And so it was a bit hard. Like it got to a point where I had to allocate numbers to my parents. I told my dad, you know, this is the number of guests you are entitled to. I told my mom, this is the number of guests you are entitled to. Because we we're working with, you know, a total number of um, like guests that we want present. At our wedding so this is one thing that a lot of you have to consider when um, planning your wedding for me I knew that yes my my parents might have people uh, that they would want to invite my my dad my mom but then I didn't know it would get to the point that we would have to like I literally had to sit down with them to come up with a list and we had to, you know, eliminate. <laughs> that was how bad it was. Because before the whole planning process, my partner and I sat down and we sort of came up with, you know, the number of guests we want present. And so we had to work with that number of guests. And so that meant making sure that, you know, it accommodates everybody's guest list. As in um, my family, his family, my parents' friends, his parents' friends, like, you know, all of that. So if you are planning your wedding, bear in mind your big day is not just your big day. It's the big day of your parents as well. And sometimes even of your family. Because yes, you might have invited an auntie, an uncle, whatever. And they would also go invite another person, come with a plus one. And it makes the whole thing, you know, a bit some way. Like I remember on, on the wedding day, I saw people that I hadn't invited at my wedding. <laughs> and... At that point, there's nothing that you can really do about it. So, um, yeah, maybe you have to make provision for, you know, excesses. So that in a case where people have decided to come with, you know, plus ones without informing you, you wouldn't have to stress or it wouldn't cause, you know, chaos and all of that. Another thing I wished I knew was the fact that I had to manage people's emotions. I quite remember when I first, you know, um, started sending out invitations. Um, I sent them privately to, like, the people I wanted to invite. I didn't send any of my invitations to, you know, all of these groups, like WhatsApp groups. No, nothing of that sort. I sent my invitations to, you know, individual people privately. And I think after sending out the first batch of invitations, within that same week, someone popped up. Um, this is somebody I know, like I've known since childhood, sort of. But we are not, like, you know, friends, friends. And so she first of all commented on um, something that I had posted on my WhatsApp status. And after that, she was like, she said, I'm getting married, congratulations, even though... I haven't invited her and I'm like wow <laughs> even though I haven't invited her and at that point I didn't even know the response to give her and also after the wedding I had quite a number of people say you know you didn't invite me blah 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 and all of that and at that point you have to know how to you know manage these people's emotions bear in mind I was working with you know a particular number of guests I wanted present at my wedding 
and also i just didn't want to invite people based on the fact that oh i know you or you know all of those things i wanted people who are close to me people that i actually call friends and not like you know just acquaintances so some people might take offense um for not inviting them to your wedding but then you need to know how to manage their emotions you have to sort of know how to talk talk to them in order for them to understand um, where you are coming from or you know understand the reason behind you not inviting them and all of that there are also some people that you know you genuinely might have forgotten to invite them yes it does happen another thing that i wished i knew was probably to have like a fair idea of how much you know um, various aspects of a wedding cost because i was so naive if you've watched my previous you know wedding planning videos i remember mentioning that one of the things that shocked me the most was decor i had like i literally had no idea how much you know decor for a wedding was going to cost and so when i started um messaging vendors for you know quotes on how much it would cost for them to be in charge of decor for my wedding i was taken by surprise i was really taken by surprise and so i feel if you are about to plan your wedding or if you are you know thinking of getting married soon maybe you should talk to people who are already married like if you have friends who are already married talk to them about you know all of these things so that you have a fair idea of how much you know various aspects of the whole wedding thingy is going to cost so that you don't like you're not taken by surprise just as i was because for me i don't think i really spoke to anyone about you know cost and all of that i think i literally just started with coming up with a guest list and then based on that we knew we wanted you know x number of people at our wedding and that was it for me i started contacting vendors um, based on what we wanted another thing is the fact that you need a great support system to you know vent to or to always go and rant to whenever you are getting stressed up with the whole planning process don't think you can do it all don't think you can you know take it all have someone you can always run to talk to because i feel no matter how well organized of a person you think you are or i think no matter how good you are at planning events or planning things some of these things are meant to happen like the, there's definitely going to be that one vendor or one or two vendors who would you know definitely stress you out and in cases like that you should have a great support system where you can always go vent to and like talk to the person to to calm you down if not you are just going to worry your head over unnecessary things and so it could be your partner your parents maybe your best friends yeah just have a great support system and i know for most men yeah for most men during the whole you know wedding preparation or wedding planning process they like men usually say it's your big day as in it's the woman's big day and so they mostly leave all the details to the woman like pay care of the details how you want it uh make sure everything is according to how you want it because most men don't want you know their partners or their 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 wives to be stressed out on the day of the event because this is not what i want or you know this is not how i wanted it to be like but then i feel like even though most of our partners leave the planning to us you should um, be able to run back to them when things are you know not going the way you want for like just to vent to them and also for them to help out in any way they can like what do you think i should do maybe something is not going the way you really wanted to and you you really don't know what to do you can always run back to your partner as a support system to ask him like you know what's your opinion how do you think i should go about this and don't think because he says 
um, you should plan everything or because he says it's your big day and it should be what you want you can't run back to your partner or even your parents um, when you feel a bit stressed out Another thing I wish I knew before planning my wedding is the importance of a wedding coordinator. If you've been watching my previous wedding videos, you know I've mentioned this a number of times. Prior to planning my wedding, I thought, you know, I could do it all. But then trust me, if you can afford a wedding coordinator, really go for it. Because having a wedding coordinator helps to take away some of the stress that you you would have had to deal with without a coordinator the wedding coordinator will make sure various aspects of like the wedding comes together and everything you know comes together nicely just the way you want it the wedding coordinator makes sure you know all the vendors are doing and providing what they have been contracted to do and it really leaves your mind at peace knowing that you know i have a coordinator who is making sure A, B, C, D comes together to make my ceremony a beautiful one. And so you wouldn't have to stress that much if you have a coordinator. Before I planned my wedding, before my wedding, I didn't think I needed a coordinator because in my mind, I thought, you know, I can do it all. It's just contacting vendor A, contacting vendor B and telling them this is what I want. This is how I want it done. You have to be here at this time. You need to uh, make sure this is here at that time and all of that. But trust me, having a coordinator is really important. And so if you can afford it, go ahead and get a coordinator when planning your wedding. All right, guys. So these are a number of things I wished I knew before planning my wedding, as well as things I learned whilst planning my wedding or, you know, during my whole wedding process and even after. And I hope you find this video helpful if you are in the process of planning your wedding or if you are, you know, thinking of getting married anytime soon. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions relating to, you know, wedding planning and all of that, you can leave it in the comment section below and I'll do well to respond to them. Until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. Bye.